I think it's the amount of animation in the, in the neck and the head for creatures that don't move much. It's, it's that they seem very alive with the neck and the head. The smelling, the craning, the neck, moving around, um, even for something so huge, it's pretty animated. Okay, we are very lucky today because it's the breeding season. They are actually mating at this point. And uh, this usually happens down below, um, about 15 miles away from here. But today we're very lucky that this guy can't wait. So usually we believe that the uh, seasons, the changes in temperatures, will trigger the females to send a hormone. And eventually the male is able to find this male, finds a female, of course he's larger, and he will eventually reach. And he will have a, what we call a plastron, the concave plastron, so he can mount the female. And eventually he will mate with her for a long time, hours. It feels like um, out of a movie, Jurassic Park, to see these incredible animals just moving through a field. It, it doesn't seem real. Uh, I don't know how I can describe it because there's nothing to compare it to.